Greetings fellow Shadow Raiders, Kropcio here and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play episode 82. Um, today once again uh, we'll have some huge uh, progress update uh, on this account. Um, yeah, this took me a lot of time during the last 8 months and this will be around a life arena, right? So. Life Arena, I reach uh, 4,000 uh, mark here. It means I can finally collect uh, 20 uh, missing fragments for, uh, for um, Quintus, the Triumphant. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we got this. Um, I will back to Life Arena in a second. So let's quickly check uh, if he's here. Yes, so we got 100. Uh, fragments here, so it means this part of the game is partially done. Of course, if you are only aiming to get this guy, so yeah, that could be. Um, so maybe let me give you some kind of my thoughts about uh, this uh, um, part of the game. Yeah, uh, so let's take a look to the leaderboards. So currently, um, about uh, 8,000 position, so is it good or bad? I don't know. Uh, but generally over those eight months it took me like uh, over 2300 uh, fights which I won only half of it <laughs> which means I lost a lot of fights um, yeah because uh, yeah that, that's how life arena is working so you're marching with opponents sometimes much much stronger than you with much uh, better champions yeah, so Johnny, you're sometimes you're losing. Uh, okay, so in terms of uh, champions that I'm uh, using uh, for those fights, so maybe let me try maybe in one team. So my setup usually for the live arena. So this is my standard uh, one. Okay, uh, so arbiter with good speed, so over 300. Maybe let me check here so 331 uh, I'm also using Armand but uh, he is most of the time banned so of course if uh, opponent will not uh, choose him so generally you can run Armand without gear because you will not play him at all <laughs> in the life arena that's the reality uh, so yeah I'm also using Thor and Ratalos so my two most uh, well built uh, damage dealers. Besides that, Ankora. So, Ankora here, she's. Uh, can I check stats here? Right here. Yeah, uh, good defense, but low on HP, good speed, good resistance. Yeah, 400 is, is okay. Uh, so, that was, that was my uh, comp. So, generally, how it was working um, before I got Tor, so I was using team like that. Right, so let me show you how uh, this was working. So it was a little bit speed tuned. Not sure if the team that I'm facing here is faster. No, it's not faster. Okay, so Arbiter and the 2 meter boost. Then Ankora A2 is also 2 meter boost. So with the shield, so we're putting a shield and 2 meter boost. Uh, so after that, Ratalos is hitting once. And then uh, if uh, Ratalos will trigger the unkillable or block damage. Then I'm using uh, Suzy Katon with his A3, which will remove all shields, block damage, and unkillables. So, yeah, and he will generally just kill the pawns. So that was uh, before I was using uh, um, Thor. So now with Thor, let's try with this team. Uh, so this looks like that right of course this isn't my perfect uh, if no one will uh, pick any of these champions so i will use them uh, and of course in life arena you will get additional slot uh, so usually it is armands uh, and she, he will be banned like 95 percent of the time um, yeah so let's try with this one so this uh, team composer will work very similar uh, Tor is a little bit faster than Ratalos, so he will start first. Yeah, and then 
Rotalos will try to finish, but this time I don't have uh, what Susie gave me, gave me with removing the block damage and unkillable um, ability. Yeah, um, what else I was using um, during this uh, long journey? Um, I think I was using, yeah, yeah, uh, um, Mitrala, also um, Loki. Uh, he, he's uh, he's great. He's funny. Uh, this guy is funny with this block uh, passive, uh, block active skill um, debuff and spread. That that I think I won a few fights uh, just because of him. Uh, because if you know other champions are blocked uh, or you cannot use them, so yeah, you, need, you need to cho choose someone. Uh, so that was Loki. Uh, at the beginning, I was using also Python, but yeah, uh, I was not feeling that uh, he was performing very good. Uh, so generally, Mitrala worked much better because of the uh, buffs that she is providing, and she is in nine piece protection, so her buffs are uh, cannot be removed from champions, which is great. Um, yeah, so that's the setup. So maybe let, let, let's try this team. I'm not sure if I can win. Well, let's try. Let's put Thor here, and maybe yeah, that's that's fine. So I'm not show showcasing Armans here because yeah, he's perma uh, ban. Okay, we are we are slower. So generally in cases like that, uh, usually we are losing. Of course, if Mitrala can uh, s uh, remove the debuffs and maybe do some miracles, so then we will win. But in this case, it's not the <laughs> that's not the case. Yeah. So usually in a life arena, the this happens if you are slower. So my tactic was just be fast and try to uh, kill opponent as fast as I can. Uh, because I do not have other OP champions that uh, could do other stuff. And you know, that, that's the case. Okay, uh, what's going on else today? So, I'm going for the fusion uh, for Jiro Boom. That's the, his name. Where is he? Um, fragments, fragments. Jiro Boom. Yeah, I already have 25, so, so far I completed everything. Uh, in this fusion, so, and now we'll have uh, another event which already started. So we have um, champion chase, right? So to complete this fusion, we'll need to reach 3000 points. And here, Quintus will be very useful because uh, I can pull him, right, uh, and get some points. So let's go there. So from the fragments, I will use Quintus here. Yeah, so this will be like 650, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we got another legendary hero here. Okay, great. And I also got uh, Tia. So Tia is from uh, Doom Tower Heart. So that's my first legendary from uh, this part of the game. So this will be another uh, 500 points. So we are almost at the first five fragments in the champion chase. Um, I do not have anything else, so now we'll be uh, dipping to the uh, void shards. We got uh, two X chance on the voids, we got Odin here. Yeah, I recently uh, pulled a void legendary, so my mercy is reset and it was arbiter, so yeah. Okay, so I'll try to get uh, some generic points, right? Uh, what else we can get? Maybe another legendary, who knows? Sometimes it's happening. Yeah, unfortunately only 18, so not much. Another painkeeper, why not? I'm still looking for a fell hunt. Can I get Fell Hunt in this session? That would be amazing. Because my Packmaster is so lonely without his favorite hunt. <laughs> okay, we got Legendary. That's interesting. I didn't expect that. 
very 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 interesting okay what this champion does so this is knight revenance my knight revenance is pretty strong so let's quickly check him okay so he's a one um 50 percent chance to place a stun okay um a two attack three times at random remove all buffs 100 percent also place provoke okay so control control to control skills attack uh, all enemies uh, increase the duration of debuffs place provoke okay so this is control champion that's how i understand wow defense in faction creeps 44 percent crazy <laughs> what are the uh, scores here eh, looks decent not sure please let me know where are you using this guy probably will also need to <laughs> uh, take a look in, into maybe and build him at some point so we got two white legendaries uh, today that's great rock beast very good for the um Mm, what's his name? This lizard Broadma uh, fusion. Okay, got another rare. And let's try to get something in the last 10 shards. So let's see how many points we'll get for this champion chase. Okay, we got Maniter, my first Maniter. Great. That's amazing. Two, three cold hearts. Crazy. Uh, okay, monitor. Interesting. That's that's good session, I would say. Okay, so let's check where we are in the points. I'm not planning to pull any other shards, so that was my plan. So let's see if this will be enough. Okay, we are not on the 3000 yet, so how much more do we need? Wow, almost. 850 okay so i will be i need to pull more shards okay so maybe let's pull 20 uh, ancients yeah so that will be the case 20 yeah let's go with 20 yeah like two epics or maybe it's generally two epics will help me here so we got sakura so one epic uh, 350 it's um, one more one more and we should be good hopefully yes we got another epic that's great and that's that's all here probably I'll pull some random shards during the next uh, two days so I'll be oh, okay I got this or maybe that there was delay okay i don't know but yeah we got uh, the points so i'm totally f or i miscalculated it okay my bad uh, anyway <laughs> so generally we are getting close to legendary book ah, that's my, my mistake it happens um great so we are on track with the uh, fusion perfect um, so if you're curious why I'm going for the fusion, um, the only reason is because I've got uh, Wizuk, Wizuk the Noxious, which is uh, Ogre and Tribe guy, uh, and he will benefit a lot with having uh, allies from the same faction. And I do not have any other legendary champions from this uh, faction, Ogre and Tribe, so only he is here on the list yeah uh yeah include reserve well so mostly epics and he's uh same alone here uh, as a legendary yeah so so this new uh fusion will be helpful so i will try to build interesting team for hydra uh with ogrins maybe only so at least four so that will be the plan Okay, so that would be all for today, so thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Cheers!